Welcome back to Marvel Live from New York Comic Con 2015. I'm Lorraine Sink, host of The Watcher, joined by... Ryan Panagos, Marvel's Agent M. And we're here with the amazing stars of Marvel's Jessica Jones coming to Netflix on November 20th. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for having us. So you guys are about to go to your panel. Everything is amazing. I'm so... I'm just getting, like, way too amped up about this show because... Pretty great. As Ryan pointed out to me, as these wonderful people entered into our stage arena, they, we have so many wonderful female characters coming to Jessica Jones and the second female-led series for us on TV. It's amazing. It's amazing. What has it been like uh, anchoring the show thus far? Uh, it's, it's completely thrilling. It, it's been just a, an amazing experience. Um, uh, we have an amazing cast, an amazing showrunner, uh, support, support of Marvel. Um, it's, you know, it's one of the coolest things ever. Love it. Yeah, uh, I've read I've read the first four episodes, and I, I think I like had to step away okay. after I read them. I was like, "What is happening?" So I'm very excited for you guys to watch. How has it been for you? Because it's so mysterious. There's so much we can't say yet, and so much we want to say. What is that? Is it, does it make it difficult, or you just you know you're just like one project to the next, one episode to the next, one step at a time? Well, I mean, you. I think it makes it hard to talk about it because we're like, oh, <laughs> are we gonna get in trouble? Um, <laughs> so it, it's just figuring out what we're allowed to say. Uh, can't wait till it's out so we can actually just like, yeah, exactly. yeah, I can't yeah. Wait. yeah, that'd be great. Exactly. <laughs> We've got a ton of uh, fans tweeting about it, uh, tweeting at us. Uh, asking questions. This one I like, it's fun, it's from Don. He asks, uh, what would you suggest fans eat? While, if they're, if they're gonna watch as many episodes of Jessica Jones when it comes out, what would you, what's like the food of choice? I would just suggest drink and yeah. whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Appropriate. That's Jessica's diet. Yeah. <laughs> Luke said have a power. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now, you guys have some big Marvel history behind some of these characters. Were you able to research into it, and how much of that did you want to sort of imbue into your character? Yeah, you know, I devoured um, all of the Jessica Jones comics mm -hmm. as quickly as possible, and then um, called Jeff Loeb you know, asking for more, and he was like, okay, Kristen, while I appreciate your appetite for Jessica Jones, she will be as developed for television as she is in the comics. Um, so it was an amazing jumping off point, uh, and it's such a great character, and, and yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a fine line because obviously there's all this, it's an amazing resource that you can jump in and glob onto all this, the, you know, the great canon of what Marvel has. But, you know, Melissa Rosenberg, our show creator, really wanted to have a very fresh contemporary version of these characters. And, and that's what I love about Marvel, that in every different iteration of, of a Marvel character, there can be little subtleties and tweaks. So we were kind of sticking to the vibe of what this show was. But, you know, you can't help but, like, punch your character into Google and find all these <laughs> little, I mean, little cool details about it. So I read the like Patsy Walker comic books and they're super cute and, and yeah. So there's lots of good like generalized creative little things that you can kind of feed into the process. And Mike, for you as well with Luke, Luke, yeah. uh, Luke, I mean these are three iconic characters for us at this point in Marvel history. But Luke especially is one of those that, you know, you talk to people, they're like, I read his books and it was so inspiring and what he had to go through. It must be fun to get into that role. Yeah, I keep meeting people all the time, especially uh, guys, you know, older than me, obviously, because they read the first original comics and one of them actually gave me his first uh, edition. He had two of them, luckily, so he gave me one. And it's just, it's just really cool because it makes me feel like I'm stepping into something that people are interested in. And it's a big opportunity for me and I think it'll open so many more doors for us. I think as actors, we all want to do something that we can love and enjoy showing up for work, and that's hard. Sometimes you, you can only have you know so much success, and sometimes when you when you get something like this, you just go, "Wow, this is awesome." And sometimes I actually feel like I'm pinching myself. I'm on set. I'm going, "This is cool. This is really cool. This is really cool." Yeah. Now, Kirian, your character is still a little mysterious from what we know about her. What can you tease about her? Well, I play Jerry Hogarth. I play a lawyer, um, and she's a very strong woman with a very strong point of view. She's very ruthless. She just wants what she wants and she's not going to let anyone kind of get in the way of that. She just that's who she is. So that's fun when when Jessica and she get together because they need each other. So they kind of they they come up against each other, but they both need one another. So that's was really fun to play with and to um, explore. And I just leaned on the scripts because there was so little for me to sort of see in the world. Um, no Googling. Yeah, I, I, you know, I Googled a little tiny bit. Um, 
but um, you know you rely on the script and, and then you let it be yours right you find your way with it and I think that's pretty amazing to see when you know I've seen the first two episodes and it really it just is so unique it's so unique so, yeah. I'm really psyched it. for people to see the relationships between the women on this show because they're complicated. They're really rich. Like they're not just perfect best friends or perfect adversaries. Like there's a lot of different emotional dynamics for us to play within the relationships on the show. So I think people are going to really dig it. And amazing female roles, you know, yeah. unlike any, like she's saying, our friendship is unlike any other friendship I've really seen between two women on television. Yeah. Um, really amazing, strong female characters. It's exciting. I'm, I know I'm super duper excited oh, yeah. about it. Uh, we're just about to wrap up, but we're going to have more coming up very soon on Marvel Live. Please check out Marvel's Jessica Jones on Netflix on November 20th, and congratulations, Thank you, you very much.